वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड नेटवर्क मैनिपुलेशन रूल्स हियर अवर एजेंडा इज टू मिनिमाइज द सर्किट बाय यूजिंग नेटवर्क मैनिपुलेशन रूल्स एंड सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो हियर यू सी वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सर्किट राइट एंड इन दिस सर्किट through this one ohm resistor current i is passing and that is what the case which we are deal with to find so to identify current i passing through this resistor here i'll be minimizing this circuit by using network manipulation rules and source transformation so whenever you have given any circuit first of all we need to see resistor connected in parallel with battery and resistor connected in series with battery right so as as if that is the case then first of all we need to see see this resistor connected in parallel with this battery won't affect this entire circuit so you can replace parallel combination of resistor and battery by battery let me show you then i'll connect that inside the circuit so you can observe here see this combination can be replaced by only this battery as this resistor won't affect this entire network right now here if you observe this resistor is connected in series with this two voltage battery so in that case we can have source transformation see whenever resistor is connected in series with voltage source then we can convert that into current source in parallel with resistor so here let me show you first how source transformation is happening now see the value of resistor that will be 0.5 only and the direction of current source that will be from negative to positive so arrow will be there in this direction and the value of current that will be as per v is equals to i r so i is equals to v by r so voltage is 2 and resistance is 0.5 so current i that will be 2 divided by 0.5 so that is 4 ampere so i can replace this combination by resistor in parallel with current source so let me reconnect this circuit in this circuit so now you can observe see resistor in parallel with voltage source that is replaced by voltage source as per this connection and you see source transformation that we have done so voltage source is converted into current source as per this explanation right now to solve this circuit further you see what i need to do is i need to have this voltage source connected inside of this link as per voltage distribution rule right let me show you that rule after that i'll explain you how we can connect that inside so you see what i have done is i have shown you this voltage source distribution to the branches so here you see this voltage source that is connected with 1 ohm resistor with series and that is also connected with this 2 ohm resistor with series right so that is how we can replace this voltage source inside and once this voltage source is there in series with resistor we can again apply voltage to current source transformation right so now let me reconnect this voltage source inside again so now you can observe this voltage source that is connected with this 1 ohm resistor in series as well as with this 2 ohm resistor in series right now if you observe this circuit then here you can see see this 1 ohm resistor in series with this voltage source that is connected here and this 2 ohm resistor in series with this voltage source that is technically you can say that is connected over this side right let me reconnect this and then you will get like how this connection is there
now you see i have made this circuit in little simplified version right now all i can do is i can again convert this voltage source into current source and this voltage source into current source so that we can have algebraic sum of current source over here as well as over here so here see this voltage source is connected in series with resistor so i can have that into current source now resistor will be one ohm only and current source that is having direction from minus to plus so arrow will be in this direction and current will be v is equals to i r so i is equals to v by r so that will be 2 divided by 1 so that has to be 2 ampere for this transformation and for this transformation here you see this resistor of 2 ohm that is connected in series with 2 voltage so now all i need is i need to connect this 2 ohm resistor in parallel with current source and the direction of current source that is from minus to plus and the value will be i is equals to v by r so 2 voltage by 2 ohm so that has to be 1 ampere right now i just need to replace this with this and this with this so now you can observe this is converted into this parallel combination as per this explanation and this is converted into this parallel combination as per this explanation right now in this circuit you see these two resistors are there in parallel so 0.5 parallel with 1 so that is 0.5 into 1 divided by 0.5 plus 1 so that is 0.33 and here also these two resistors that is there in parallel so that is 2 into 0 0.5 divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 so that is 0 0.4 now here if you observe this two current source that is there in parallel so in parallel this current source will get added as per the direction so here resultant current source will be 4 ampere plus 1 ampere in parallel connection and here resultant of these two current source in parallel will be 1 ampere plus 2 ampere so that will be 3 ampere so you see 1 ampere in parallel with 4 ampere as per the direction it is getting summed and now it is 5 ampere and for this two also it will be 1 ampere plus 2 ampere so now i need to connect 5 ampere instead of this two and 3 ampere instead of this 2. Let me reconnect that. Now you see this resistor that is parallel combination of 2 and 0 0.5. So that is 0 0.4. And this resistor that is parallel combination of 0 0.5 into 1. So that parallel combination is 0 0.33. Now we have this circuit which is bit simplified one and for further simplification what i'll do is i'll make this transformation into voltage again so what will happen is voltage source will be there in series with this resistor and same thing that will be there with this resistor so resistor will be 0 0.4 only and the direction of battery that will be as per this arrow and here it should be minus plus as per the direction of arrow and v is equals to i r so phi into 0 0.4 that is what this voltage and that has to be 2 voltage now for this again i am transforming this into voltage source so you see resistor will be 0 0.33 only and voltage will be as per the direction so minus plus direction that i need to write and the value will be v is equals to i r so 3 into resistance 0 0.33 so that will make it to one voltage now i'll be connecting this in this circuit so you see i have connected this circuit here right now if you observe this circuit then in this circuit we have only one loop 
so we can directly ap apply kvl in this circuit and as per kvl further solution will be very easy so as if you apply kvl in the loop then first we need to see the voltage sources right so you see this two voltage source that is happening from minus to plus direction so i need to write plus two voltage and then this voltage source that is happening from plus to minus direction so that is minus one and that is equals to voltage drop in each of this resistor so that is 0 0.4 into i plus 1 into i plus 0 0.33 into i so this is 1 is equals to 0 0.4 plus 1 plus 0 0.33 so that is 1.73 i so I can say current I that is 1 divided by 1.73 and if you further simplify this you will be getting this is 0 0.578 ampere. So this is how we can simplify the circuit and we can have easier way of solution for any question. I hope it is clear to you. I will be solving few more examples that will make sure your understanding is proper. So just stay tuned with this channel and you just give your valuable feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video.